Hi, everybody. There's nobody here yet. I have my Yellowstone shirt on. <laughs> Hello. I'm really itchy. My allergies are so bad today. COVID. It's not the Rona. <laughs> it's just allergies. <laughs> All right, hopefully we can see comments today. Is anybody able to comment? Can you comment? Anybody? Yes, hi Cindy. Thank you for commenting so we can see that comments are working. You guys, um, Angie Crawford. What did you do? <laughs> Angie Crawford, <laughs> she wrote us this, you can't see that. There you go. <clears throat> lovely, lovely letter. Y'all make me laugh every day. You brighten and enlighten my days. I drive by a little wood shop on my way to camp each week. And I, I've always thought how nice it is to be able to have a great talent, right? And we've seen so much talent from you so guys. So much, you guys. One day I was driving by and slammed on my brakes. I saw a beautiful old looking wooden American flag. He had dozens of designs and said he, he does whatever you want. I had a Harley Davidson one made for my friend's birthday. Right away, I asked him, Do you, could you make one? It smell good. I asked him to make one for each of you. I wanted you to get them for Christmas, elections, um, May uh, may Elections may screw up the world. Oh. So um, you're getting, you're them, getting early. them early. <laughs> LOL, sort of. I've um, told so many people about y'all. Mm -hmm. Keep doing what you do. Love and hugs Angie. And then she said, P.S. I told John I was going to send y'all his business card. You might make him famous. He simply said thank you. He also has a Facebook page. You guys, it is Wood Creations by John Mayoreski. It's unbelievable. There is his, wait, contact number. Oh, shit. There. There you go. 717-736-238. Oh, and then when you, can you always, see this, you, you can always go want to, it. You can always go to YouTube after this, and I always we I put this on our site too, so you can freeze it. Yes, if you want to go. I, guys, we're not even unwrapping like because I so can beautiful. unwrap it because I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, go back. There, can you perfect. See it? Yes, perfect. Can it's you see this? heavy, heavy wood. I mean, they're I'm, amazing. I can barely hold it up. Right, like, they're I'm getting yeah. a workout right now. It's gorgeous. It is unbelievable. Like it, this is so gorgeous. <laughs> I just can't with we you both guys. Got them. It smells amazing too. Like I like I love the smell of woodworking. Ah. You know. And we each got one, and that's too much, Angie. Oh my God, they're beautiful. Crazy. I have a room in my cabin that's all America stuff, and I'm just like dying over this it's so so, so, so pretty beautiful so mm -hmm. again if you like what you see there and i know it's bubble wrapped and you can't really see it clearly yeah. but i promise you they're gorgeous we want to make sure they get home <coughs> safely yeah then make sure to contact john mayoreski mayoreski what a talent go back freeze it call him get your flags <coughs> yes i'm sure he has other stuff too so like she said so check it out uh book update Everything has been shipped. Yeah. Everything. Well, I take that back. I have like five more that I'm sending today. Yeah. But everything that ev that has been ordered is out the door. So hopefully everybody starts getting their inscribed books really, really soon. Yes. Yay! And by the way, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's this, right for a reason. Yeah. Paperback. Uh, it's our book. It's, it's our, our paperback. paperback. And you can get it from Amazon directly if you want, but if you want it inscribed personally, then you need to um, work directly with us. And you can do that by going to our website, chicksontheright.com, look for Get the Book, and it'll tell you how to do that. And Kira's like, come on, you can rewrap it. We can't. We can't rewrap it the way no, that No, I just, had. I don't, because we have to carry these home. I mean, not that we're, yeah. like, walking home, but, like, we have to get them down several to flights the, yeah. and into our car, and I don't want anything to And pass to the homeless it. people in our parking garage. <laughs> Right. It's it's a very it's like <laughs> it's an obstacle, you guys. I mean, just I don't wanna Yeah. I don't wanna do that. Um you guys, did you hear Joe Biden yesterday say out loud to the world on camera um that he simply will not tell us his opinion about court packing until after the election? I mean, why would he be transparent? <laughs> why would he do that? He doesn't have to be transparent with you guys, because you know, you're below him. We're not unwrapping the flag. Mm -hmm. Kira <laughs> 
Um, he said the reason that he's not going to tell ever, tell us all what he thinks about it is because if he does, it will be a headline in the press. Oh, I mean, he wouldn't want that. He wouldn't want it to be a headline. <laughs> so he's just going to hide it from you. How is because, anybody okay with this? Well, Democrats are okay with it because they're sheep and they don't care. And they actually do believe that these people are above them. They believe that these people are not their employees. See, I would imagine that conservatives out there, they still understand that these people work for us. Oh God, I just cannot believe that anybody's Can like, you? well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. You definitely shouldn't tell us anything about his mm -hmm. policy positions until at... This is literally the same thing as Pelosi saying, you're not going to know what's in the bill until mm -hmm. it, it gets passed. Can you imagine it's going, going to your boss and being like, I'm not going to tell you about the status of this project. I'm not going to until... Until you you've know, given it a, a grade or yeah, whatever. Until like <laughs> next year, until I feel like it. Until after my wanna, performance review. Yeah, I'm just not going to... Not gonna do that. I mean, what Not the gonna hell? tell you. If you're even on the left, you should be mad. Like, mm -hmm. and then let's be real. The the reason he won't just simply say no, I'm against it, is because he's absolutely for it, and that is what Democrats will do if they're elected. Yeah. Is that they will completely change everything about how our government works so that they have all the power. Yeah, because they can't do it on their own. So they have to change the way our uh, our government works. They can't do it on their own. They can't win on their own. They can't do it on their own merit. So they have to screw everything up, right? They have to cheat, basically. Yeah, essentially. They have to cheat. And what a lame ass excuse. Like I don't want the I don't want this to be a headline. We're less than four weeks away from election, anything either of the candidates say right now is a top headline. Mm -hmm. Anything. So that's not even, that doesn't even make logical sense for him to say, well, I don't want it to be a headline. Well, it, this is now the headline, you yeah. idiot. Yeah. I mean, the fact that you are totally not transparent is the headline. Congrats. So, well played, I guess. I don't know, because that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Um, did you guys see Nancy Pelosi's presser yesterday? Oh, my God. She is crazy, you guys. The 25th Amendment stuff. I, I what It's going to be worse today. It's like, I at this point, people, even people on the left have to be going, oh, my God. Like, she won't, <laughs> she really won't stop. But then again, I guess people on the left are delighted about this, Yeah, they, right? don't, want, they don't want her to stop. They want they her are to just, they are steam so ahead. so delighted about the fact that she will just stop at nothing to get Trump out of office. It's, they're so rabid. So, so if you didn't, if you missed it, she basically said at yesterday's presser that today she was going to talk to the press corps about the Twenty Fifth Amendment, and it's because, because Trump is crazy because of steroids, right? <laughs> right. Because he because he takes steroids. <laughs> who is out there has taken steroids like for whatever reason? Raise your hand. I, I literally mean, I, just had them for hives. Yeah, me too. And I take them for migraines. I mean, I it doesn't. It doesn't do anything except for, like, every once in a while I'll have to take them because I have chronic migraine, and I have to take them to break the cycle sometimes of chronic migraine. And I, they're, they're fine. Like, the fact that she's using this as an excuse. I'd like to know what drugs that lady's on. <laughs> and, like, it's called vodka. <laughs> for real. Like, what is she taking? Let's all find out. I think we have a right to know, right? <laughs> Since we all know, like, what Trump is doing every second of every day, I'd like to know what that chick is ingesting. Because, damn, <laughs> there's a whole lot of stuff right here. <laughs> Just right here. And yeah, that's very close to her brain. It is. Very, very close to her because, brain. I mean, it's quite obvious <laughs> that there's stuff right here. And so, okay, so 25th Amendment. So she's going to talk about that today. And she's going to be like, obviously, Trump is unfit mentally or whatever. And so we're going to what? We're going to invoke the 25th Amendment, which involves, of course, going to Mike Pence and saying, hey, are you down to be president for three weeks until the election is over? And oh then, like, God. Joe Biden. So, what you think? You think Pence is going to be like, yeah, that seems like a great idea? Yeah. No, you idiot. He's not going to do that. Pence is so going to be like, you're point? crazy. He's going to be like, you are crazy. Every, and you is. are nuttier than squirrel shit. <laughs> That's what he's going to say. This is just such he a He may not say that because he's actually a lot nicer than I am and he has a lot more grace. He would never say that. I'm sorry. I used that language. But he, <laughs> but he won't. He, Pence won't say that. Pence will, Pence no. will say... No. <laughs> no. Do we need to hold up the dog again? No. Because <laughs> <laughs> you are crazy, lady. This is insane. Good Lord. And also, there are three and a half weeks to go. So if they're, if the polls are right, if the polls that say, you know, Biden is going to win in this giant landslide, 
why are we worrying about the 25th Amendment exactly. right now? Exactly. Why is she so worried? I mean, has she, because the, the thing is, the polls are saying that he's like 10 points ahead. Yeah. Even so the ones what, that like Trump, like Rasmussen says he's 10 points so ahead. So what are you so concerned about, lady? Why are you, why are you getting your panties all up in a wad? <laughs> Just calm down and let the election play out, right? Oh I mean, y'all are like using the mail fraud and everything. You're doing everything you can. You're pulling out all the stops. Good Lord. Just let it play out, right? <laughs> Speaking of Trump being crazy. So, God. so I was cracking up because there's a, he tweeted out, like he retweeted an article that was talking about some, a, another, yet another example of mail fraud or election fraud. And all he did was tweet out the link and said, hello. That was his <laughs> caption. <laughs> I just, I just love that. I just like him more I love and more. That. I mean, there was a time where I was like, the tweeting really irritated me. Now, I just think they all deserve it. <laughs> they just all deserve his tweet on The crazier, slot. the better. Just keep tweeting, Mr. President. For real. Just don't let up. <laughs> just keep just keep trolling the crap out of these <laughs> lunatics. They oh are just, God. they're lunatics at this point. Yeah, it's true. I cannot deal. Um... I guess we have to talk about Gretchen Whitmer. Whitmer. Yeah. Um, so, listen, we are not fans, okay? But we're not plotting to kidnap her either. Well, so. who would want to kidnap her? <laughs> that would just be, re that would be wretched to have her in a room and have to deal with her. Yeah. Well, I don't think that, that was going to stop there. She'd be like the chicken Fargo. <laughs> you know? You remember? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? I just, so listen, there is no question, but that the people who were plotting this are insane terrorists. There's yeah. no other way to describe them. They're insane. I'm, and and I'm, listen, I don't want to say but, but, but I'm going to say a but, <laughs> because I, I'm, what I'm confused about is if they're getting, um, they're going to get indicted for this stuff, and rightly so, right? They should get in trouble for this. Then why are people on the left, like Antifa and BLM, who are also doing terroristy things, why are they not getting in trouble for stuff? Because like, I just feel like they're harder to catch. Because <laughs> like, well, but these but, guys, the what are they that called? The Wolverine any, Watchmen. That doesn't make any sense, though, Ma. Because they're they're taking these people and putting them in jail, and then they're letting them go. So they are catching them. It's like yeah. a catch and release thing. They're Which catch is, and the good thing is that there are some that are being charged with federal crimes. So when they catch the people that are like organizing riots and they charge them federally, that's good because these idiot district attorneys or prosecutors in these liberal cities just put them back out on the street and they don't keep the charges. Like, they just drop all the charges. And you don't hear about it on the news either. Yeah. You know, we've got terrorists on both sides that suck, right? Yeah. On, on polar opposite sides. They all suck. And I think we can all agree on that. You know, we're all kind of here. And these people are over here. And they all suck all the monkey balls, right? It, it, the problem is, is that the media is only reporting about the suckage on this one side. Granted, I know it was a kidnapping plot, and I, I get it. It's it's a horrible thing. We, we get it. But there's also suckage on the left. You never hear about, like, hey, this one person did this, and they were threatening to kill the president, and they were, you know, doing this, that, and the other. You don't hear about that on the news. You know, you don't hear about those people. You don't hear about the awful things that they do. You just notice how the media is very skewed in that res I mean, it's obviously very skewed. And it and we don't hear about that. And they're not kept. And there's and we don't hear about the indictments on that side. And they and they but in essence they are still violent. No, oh, I mean all of them. R regardless of which like way far end of each spectrum they are, what they have in common is that they are violent, insane lunatics. Yeah. And so they have very different methods of exacting their terror, but it's that's what they're doing nonetheless. They're either burning down cities in riots and looting totally or or they're like plotting really crazy you know, overthrows of government and bombing places and, and kidnapping casserole lady. So, I mean, it, it, they're all cut from the same cloth. They are crazy. <laughs> so the problem is, like, we can say that, but there's no one on the left who is actually admitting that Antifa is crazy. They're well, just they like, say, that's fine. Well, they're actually saying that it's just an idea. Yeah. They're not even saying that it's a thing. They're not even willing to say this is an actual group of actual human beings. <laughs> they're, they are unwilling to even say that and admit it out loud. Yeah. It's, it's not an idea. It's not a construct. They are people 
who are saying that they are people who are saying awful things. There, there, there are people in BLM who are saying that they want to, like, bomb the White House. They want to destroy the White House. It's that. Remember when that used to be a problem? Remember yeah, when that you're not supposed to do that's do you, frowned upon? Yeah. Do you remember when when people used to threaten to kill the president? That used to be an issue, and now I feel like I mean celebrities do it all the time, and it's like. Uh, it's no big deal. I mean, it's Trump, you guys. So it's totally fine. I mean, it's totally fine. I, I, this country is in such a state of crazy right now that it's we we allow so much of the stuff to just sort of go by the wayside. And I, I don't recognize my country anymore. It, they, they, okay, I, I see people commenting that they were anarchists. That's true. They but are they're they, also. I mean, they're the extreme. <coughs> far right when it comes to most of their beliefs, right? They are, they're super mad at Gretchen specifically because of her overreach of government mm-hmm. and her being this, acting like a tyrant. So some of, they, they take what normal people believe and they skew it in this really bizarre way, the same way that super extreme people on the left do with their ideas. I mean, it's, I know I, people have the conservatives want to disavow them, and I get it. We should. We, we absolutely, absolutely should. should. But we can't like deny the fact that these are th- these are people who are. Um, it makes sense to classify them as right wing, extreme right wing wackos. They're anarchists, actually. They are anarchists who want to overthrow government completely. But the reasons they want to do that are tied back to things that a lot of us actually agree with, like Second Amendment and the reason that we all are armed so that we can avoid being run by a tyrannical government. These are right-wing ideas that have been taken to a crazy extreme. So it's okay to say that out loud. We don't have to say that we are with them because of course we're not. But this is the problem, is that reasonable people immediately want to just be like, nah, it's the other side's fault. And I get it, but like at some point we just have to admit there are crazy people on both sides. Yeah. Okay. You know, because I mean, let's let's not be like the left and say, you know, it's it. Because listen, I have friends who are liberal who pretend that Antifa doesn't exist. Stop it. Exactly. And, they, and they're pretending that BLM is like a is a happy hippie little group of people that you know it's just all about Black Lives Mattering. No, it's about Marxism. You moron! Mm-hmm. Read what they're about. Listen to the listen to the people who actually started it. Listen to the their faces. <laughs> Look at what they're saying. Listen to them because they are socialists. Like, pay attention and do your freaking research. You know, don't be idiots. So that's why we're saying what we're saying. You know, we can't, be, don't be dumb about this. You know, you got to at least be open-minded and understand that, okay, fine, these, these guys are idiots. Yeah. <laughs> They're idiots. I think people just get like, I don't want to be associated. I don't want this you to be a to right-wing be. thing. But, you, you know. You don't have to be associated with them. There's plenty of people on the left who don't want to be associated with Antifa. Yeah. Right? Who are like reasonable people who are like, oh my God, those people are crazy and don't represent me. I just don't like racism or I just don't like whatever. Great. Well, then become a conservative. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I mean, do you know what I mean? There are people that are on the left who are not insane, mm-hmm. is what I'm saying. So we have to at least. But they're misguided. But of they're misguided. They are. And they listen to the media too much. And they, they think that they're benevolent. They think they're doing the right thing. And they think that BLM is a good good movement right. it's not it's not educate them you exactly. know <laughs> it's why <laughs> we can say them. the Wolverine watchmen or whatever are that they're not reflective no. of us or of normal people on the right yeah. they are a fringe whack job group it's okay to admit that it's okay to admit that I still think that our judicial system is whack I still think a lot of things with our judicial I mean I'll just say that out loud I don't like a lot of like when they people get 20 years for that 50 years for that whatever and then you got rapists running around getting 5 8 years I mean, I have yeah. I have a problem with that. <laughs> I got a problem. Jail terms are all over. They're the place. crazy. And have, it doesn't make any sense at all. I do have a problem with that. I'll just put that out there. Well, and especially I mean, Portland is a great example because Portland that's where they've got like this insane district attorney who won't like he'll drop charges against all these rioters. Yeah. Even people who have been charged with specific cases of real extreme violence and rioting, they're just let go mm-hmm. because he is on their because side. Because he's progressive. And we're talking about that. So like, what is it? 70%? 70% of the rioters had their charges dropped by this one progressive DA. Yeah, because he believes in what they're doing. 
Mm -hmm. And so it's so this is the thing. This is why our judicial system is whack, you guys. Because if you get a guy or a woman that's on your side, they're going to be like, oh, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and let these people out, which is exactly what's happening in Portland. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's absolutely not okay. insane. Not okay. Because, listen, if there's not going to be consequences, like if these people know they're just going to spend a few hours in jail, mm -hmm. they're going to get booked, they're going to get go right back out on the streets, and then they're not going to be prosecuted, what do you think happens? They mm. keep They keep being violent. Right. They keep being bad. They keep doing it. It's not it. hard. It's like a kid that's never punished. You know, you yeah. have a kid that is never punished, and they're going to end up like Claudia Conway. <laughs> I mean, I just... Who, by the way, uh, you can listen to our most recent podcast, which is all about the Conway family. You know? Um, that is out where all fine podcasts can be found. The Mock and Daisy Show, The Chicks on the Right Show, you can find it there. Uh, we did the whole entire show this week about... The lunacy of that family. Yeah, they're gonna have their own reality show, you guys. <sighs> Any day now. Wait Any for it. The next, day now. the next Jersey Shore. Oh, we should take questions because it is. We didn't it's get to Friday. do that last week. It's Friday, you guys. And it's question day. Bring it <coughs> into because we are blind. So, <laughs> what's going on? What's happening? What do you guys want to talk about? Yeah, what is going on? Do you guys have any like questions? Do you guys want to talk about stuff? The left wants to be victims, and they feel, they do. They want you to feel their pain. They do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like subsidizing something, right? The more you subsidize something, the more of that thing you're gonna get. Right? That's how this works. So if you allow terrible behavior and just look away from it, you're going to get more terrible behavior. Where is our faith? You know what? I saw yesterday. It's in our template today. I hope we get to it. Nick Searcy um, got a he, – he, he made a documentary. And I, it's like I think it's called God Shed His Grace on Me. So you guys may want to check that out. I think that's what it's called. Nick Searcy. Yes. America, a, America, God shed his grace. You guys may want to check that out. I mean, I'm giving him a plug. I've not seen it or anything. I just, I want to see it. But, you know, it's he's talking about how we need faith in this country. He's there, a good guy. The trailer for it, by the way, got taken down. They, there, it was advertised on YouTube, and it was flagged as inappropriate. It's about God. God. It's about God. It's inappropriate. Yeah. So he said, uh, yeah. the, basically, the only thing they could figure out is that, that could be sensitive or graphic is that there's four seconds shown of actual riots that are happening in our country. And then the rest of the time, the whole time is just people talking about the Bible. So it's either YouTube is like, oh, Bible, yikes. Or they're like, oh, God, we can't have, we can't show four seconds of, of actual yeah. news. Mm -hmm. And so there's no other explanation. It's crazy what's happening right now. Yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. How are Pelosi and all of them not considered extremists? I mean, well, they are. It's just that they don't use violence to obtain their goals. Right? And it's, it's kind of like the whole frog in the pot mentality that I always use. You know, it's like it's like with this COVID stuff. We've all it was 15, 15 days to flatten the curve. Everybody thinks that like you have to wear a mask in your house now because <laughs> we just we all you know, you, you're the frog in the pot. You think they keep telling you what to believe. And then you're just like, oh, yeah, I mean, this is all normal. Like this is our normal now. We're frogs in the pot. Same thing goes with all these government people like you just keep taking what they what they dish out to you we think pelosi is or they think pelosi's fine i mean she that woman does she doesn't even have to abide by the rules she just tells you what to do and she doesn't have to but she thinks she's queen she's horrific What's she the, is everything that's wrong with our government is and there people, like a 25th amendment for the speaker of the house right like, is there a version of that she's horrific she's crazy she's awful crazy. she's the worst of the worst and people just keep electing this woman it's crazy. I, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, okay, I just keep seeing people that are watching. We're in a battle of good and evil. It's true. So that's it. You're I absolutely right. I totally agree with you. Diane. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. <clears throat> They're using violence. Who do you think is supporting the rioters, the Democrats? I mean, I don't know that Nancy Pelosi is writing a check to rioters. I think, I don't Sor know. I think Soros is. Yeah, I mean, that's that's probably uh -huh. even provable, and I'm sure that's something that A.G. Barr is working on. But yeah. I don't know that Nancy Pelosi herself is saying... I don't... You know what I mean? I don't know if A.G. Barr is or not. I don't know who's working on that. Somebody needs to be. I can't believe that nobody <gasps> would be. Somebody said, how do you feel about the attempt to change the last presidential debate to virtual? No. That's like on the 22nd. 
I mean, the, Trump's already been cleared to, like, do things. We talked about this on our show yesterday because it came out during our show. I don't think that presidenting should be virtual. We show up to work every day. <laughs> I mean, nurses and doctors show up to work every day. People who stock grocery shelves, trash workers. At people, There are people showing up to work every day. Joe Biden can show the freak up to work. He can do it. If they have to be 100 feet apart on a stage, they can make them be apart. They can put them in plexiglass. They can put them in little cubes. They can have little microphones. Phones. They need to be on a stage together. There's no reason that they can't. And that concerns me. If he feels that he can't do the things, he shouldn't be president. He shouldn't be running for president. We have shown up to work every day for seven months. Do your freaking job, Joe. <laughs> Quit being a wuss. Seriously, if plexiglass is good enough for Kamala, it. it's good enough for you. If it's good enough for us at the grocery store, it's good enough for him. Mm-hmm. Um, we already know that next week's debate is looking like it's not happening. Now, Joe Biden has turned that debate into a town hall for himself. And if it's like his other town halls, it's going to just be... Softball. Yeah, it's a chance Softballs. for him to just be all like, hey. Telepromptery. Hey. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not going to be useful at all. Now, Trump, on the other hand, I think it's today, is going to be on the Rush Limbaugh show. Like, he's going to be hosting the Rush Limbaugh show, which is amazing. <clears throat> and apparently, he's taking calls. <laughs> Oh my God, so I love can you imagine? this. I know. I so love that's it. That's kind of crazy. Now, his team is asking, okay, so whatever, the 15th isn't happening, but the October 22nd debate, which was supposed to be the last one, let's, let's have it and let's have it in person, and then let's add another one on the 29th. And so we have our three face-to-face -face debates. I think that's a perfect plan. And I don't know why Joe Biden... Well, I do know why Joe Biden would be scared of that plan. I mean, it's obvious why he'd be scared of it, right? Yeah. But, I mean, that solves all the problems. Somebody right? asked if the debate committee is against Trump. Yeah, absolutely. Of course they They're are. absolutely against they Trump. They didn't even tell no. him that, this was, that they were making this huge change. Which is unheard of. They're supposed to go to both of the camps, both of the, the candidates and their, their people, and say... And then they're supposed to negotiate about the terms. Mm -hmm. They didn't do that. They just did it. Willy. They said, this is what we're going to do without consulting his team. That's a bunch of crap, you guys. Oh, my God. It's just not okay. Uh -uh. And then one, the, one of the debate moderators, I don't know if it was for the one that was supposed to happen next week or for the last one, Steve Scully, the guy that used to intern for Joe Biden, he, in response to Trump saying yesterday that he wasn't going to debate virtually, he <laughs> sent a note to Scaramucci on Twitter, so everyone could see it, he said to Scaramucci, should I talk to him? What the hell? What is going on? It's should crazy. I talk to Trump, he said? It's crazy. How about, I mean, how about you choose a moderator? I can't even believe Trump agreed to that guy. Yeah. But that just shows that Trump is fearless, right? He has no problem facing down anybody because mm -hmm. he does it every freaking day. And that day. should be reason enough to elect the guy. God. I mean, Joe Biden is afraid to get on a stage. Yeah. He's afraid to get on a stage with, with Trump. And Trump's like, I'll do whatever. <laughs> you know, sign me <laughs> up. You throw me, me whatever moderator you want to throw care. me. Don't care. Yeah, don't care. I can handle it. Yeah. That's, and he can handle COVID. He can handle all the things. Yeah. We've seen this time and again. Unbelievable. <sighs> yeah, the moderator for the coming one is an intern. Yeah, it's Steve Scully. It's that guy. God, I cannot believe that, I cannot believe that he's being so openly... Joe must have a comorbidity if they are being so... He's just old. His comorbidity is that he's almost 80 years old. That's his comorbidity. <laughs> and a reminder, you yeah. can exempt yourself from be serving on a jury because there is like a written rule that says, well, when you're 75, your brain really starts to slow down. Yeah. So you automatically can get out of jury duty. Dude is wanting to be president of the free world. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't. What else you got? VP moderator wrote, wrote Nancy's, Nancy's audit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, true. She did. What's her name? Uh, Su uh, I, didn't, I don't even remember. I don't remember her name. She's Susan very Page? unmemorable. Is that her name? Susan Page? Maybe? She was like, Senator Harris, can you please? <laughs> no, Sen Senator, or Vice President Pence. Senator Harris. Because she never, like, quieted Kamala. Yeah. What else you guys got? Biden should come to the Milwaukee area and see what Democrats are supporting. God, Milwaukee. I mean, there's so many cities that are just... Portland, Seattle. There are so many cities that are, are just lost. Yeah, you you're, guys. and you're never going to get unbiased journalism. Somebody's asking for unbiased journalism. Not going to happen. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's no. dead and gone. Yeah. That's one Those of the reasons that we... The one of the reasons we started our site is because people were looking for just alternatives. And so we provided an alternative with just commentary. Yeah. 
That's why that's why Daily Wire is doing so well, you guys. Daily Wire, Breitbart, they're so high up there. We pl I played a clip on the show the other day. She was gone. She was on jury duty. Ted Koppel was just like, he was being told by somebody that Daily Wire and that Ben Shapiro was like one of the top listened to guys when it comes to news in the country, right? And he was like, I don't understand what you're saying to me. <laughs> he was blown like, away. Ted Koppel is just so clueless about this because he's one of the old guard, right? These guys don't understand. They don't understand the Daily Wires and the Breitbarts and the Blazes. They don't understand because people are people like you are searching out sites like ours because they're you're tired. You're just tired of the media garbage. You're tired of it, and frankly, you're tired of like going to the news every day and hearing about how much our president sucks, about how much our country sucks. It's just exhausting. Yeah, because it you know our president doesn't suck. Our country doesn't suck. It's the best country on the planet. At least for now. Because, um, man, yeah. if this election goes to the Democrats, I just... I hear you. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked what we thought about uh, this this accusation of Vice President Pence mansplaining <laughs> the other night to yeah. Kamala. Yeah. If, if This is what they call debating now. If you debate a woman, you apparently are mansplaining. Mm -hmm. It's utterly absurd. Yeah. He did not... He treated her with way more respect then she treated him. Yeah. And if thought, she can't I, deal, she can I thought that GTFO. he was I thought he was soft on her actually. And I think if she wants to be and you know, if she wants to be treated equally, then she needs to she needs to woman up. <laughs> you know? And her anybody, I don't know if she's complaining about it, I don't know if she's the one complaining, but feminists are complaining about this. And listen, if you want equality, you better get out there and learn to play ball. Whether it's in politics, whether it's in any industry, I just I get so tired of these women complaining about, oh my god, he's mansplaining, it's sexist, and it's like then then just don't work, don't and work. Now, if you're a man and you talk, you're essentially going to get accused yeah. of mansplaining. That's just, that's just where we've gotten. Then just step out of the arena, chick, because you're making our gender look bad. Either you do guys, it or don't. I think that uh, Trump is going to be on Tucker tonight, which should be. Trump is yeah. I think that that is actually going to be amazing. How do you amazing. know? Did he I, say I, just, I, I heard it on the radio. I, I hope I'm not making that up. Somebody can confirm it. But I think that that's happening tonight. And Tucker will not be easy on him. Um, Tucker will be very, very fair. And so that's going to be one to not miss. If you're ever looking for a night to watch Tucker, this would be the night. Because if that's true, if Trump is actually on, that's going to be a big deal. Yeah, and somebody said, how is she going to hack it when she's president? Exactly. Yeah, for real. Like, you think Putin's going to handle it with kid gloves? <laughs> Sorry, Putin, you're mansplaining. Yeah, you're mansplaining me, Putin. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. We actually have to go because we have to do this ad. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we got to do an ad, Sorry, you guys. guys. It's Friday. We have crap to do. <laughs> so yeah. much going on. Okay, you guys, bring it in. And don't forget to listen to our regular show on WIBC.com. 9 to 11. Oh, there's a big stretch. <laughs> you guys have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.